Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Tarot of Nella. So I'm just cleansing the area with some Palo Santo before we get into this pick a card. So this reading is going to be why did they come into your life? So all you need to do is take some time right now to close your eyes, think of the person, it could be a friend, a lover, um, a family member, it, an ex, anyone who comes through that you are thinking about in regards to this reading on why they came into your life, for what reason. So please remember this is a general reading so it may not resonate for everyone. However, if you have clicked this video, I do believe there could be a message here for you. I do offer private readings and you can book by going on my Etsy store which is linked down below or by privately emailing me. So this reading is timeless. So I have prepared three different crystals to help you intuitively go to which group is calling you the most. So for group number one we have the fluorite. So if you're drawn to the crystalline fluorite on why did they come into your life group one for group two if you're drawn to this crystal this is the aquamarine with uh, mica why did they come into your life group number two and then lastly, group number three, if you're drawn to this crystal, this is a specular hematite crystal. Why did they come into your life? Group three. So you can pause the video if you need more time to meditate on what card and crystal is calling you the most. So when you feel ready, you can click your timestamp which is linked down below in the description bar. So I'm gonna start with group one and for the rest of you, I will see you at your timestamp. Hello, group number one, welcome to your reading. So this is going to be, why did they come into your life? So I already have one channeled message for you already. So I'm really excited to get fully into your reading. So the card that we have is Trap. So this is quite an interesting card to come out for you, Group 1, because what it means is this person who has come into your life has come in for a reason, perhaps to trap you, or maybe there's this enclosement and closeness between you and this person. So for some of you, obviously we'll get more in depth, it could be an ex who tried to trap you and they came into your life to kind of take control. Because as you can see in this card, we have the number 13, which is a foundation and stability number. So I feel like this person wanted to wrap you up in cotton wool. This person wanted to maybe protect you or keep you. And maybe that wasn't the most healthiest of situations to be in. Because as you can see, we do have the tiger here as well. So there's so much like courage and fear at the same time with this person that's coming through. So this could be, you know, why they came into your life was to kind of teach you this type of lesson. And, you know, whether you felt trapped in, in a relationship or, you know, some of you may have liked being in that enclosed environment but it seems very protective. I keep hearing that word protective, protective. So we're going to find out some more information into this with the tarot. For group number one, Why did they come into your life? Group one, why did they come into your life? Ooh, 
Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. Group one, why did they come into your life? Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Okay. So what I'm picking up for you, Guru, how interesting, we have Strength at the back as the overall energy. Strength is that lion, that tiger kind of coming through. Some of you may connect with the Leo with this, but what I'm picking up is this is definitely some type of relationship that I feel maybe you felt trapped in. Perhaps this person came into your life because they found you beautiful, okay? I can sense the energy of someone really admiring you, really kind of taking on your your presence. Um, so there's a lot of attraction here and I feel like maybe it was a mutual attraction, but I feel like from this person, perhaps their intentions were slightly, you know, more intense and different to yours. So we do have this energy of a relationship coming forward for you, okay, of being trapped in, in a possible connection. And the reason I say it as well is because we have the Seven of Swords over here. So this Seven of Swords energy is coming through as someone who wants to get away with something. It's like if you're going to trap, you know, an innocent animal, if you're going to trap a, you know, just this is just a metaphor, a, a person. It's very much the energy of taking on board the responsibility. And I feel like when I'm picking up with this person who why they came into your life was because because perhaps they did think they could get away with something with you perhaps you you know the wall was pulled over your eyes and it kind of feels to me that there is some type of one in what one my cake and eating it that's what i'm hearing having my cake and eating it because this nine of swords here is a lot of fear actually it's like a lot of anxiety so Whoever chose group one, I do feel like there's a message for someone out there who may be going through a difficult time with a person. Maybe you are questioning <coughs> why they have come back into your life or why they were there in the first place. And it really just does, does come across that this person admires you, you know, wants to be with you, but also you have to be wary of this person because... There's a lot of deceit here or betrayal or maybe mistrust. And I feel like maybe this person could be tricking you. Because as you can see with the card trap, this person has obviously been tricked into something. This person didn't just, you know, you know, get caught up in that in that net themselves. So it really is the energy of the fact that I feel like you may have been tricked by someone. And now you're questioning, well, why? Why has this happened to me? And it's a lesson learned. I think it's to make you kind of, you know, release your fears, to become more stronger, to get that courage, possibly to move on. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to find out some more information in regards to this. For group number one, why did this person come into your life? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is such an interesting reading. The first card that came out was Snake. <laughs> snake and Obsession. So that message I just channeled to you has 100% been confirmed. Snake and obsession. This is someone not to trust. This seven of swords, this is someone not to trust. There is a snaky energy here. And it is to teach you how to kind of be in a better, healthier relationship. Because obsession, obsession makes me think this person is obsessed with you. You know? Um, again, we've got that number foundation stability coming forward. Someone who wants to take control and action. How insane is this? So, what I'm going to do, 
I want to clarify these tarot cards now. So let's clarify the Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So what is this Two of Cups energy? The Chariot. So the Chariot symbolizes the fact that you're both going in opposite ways. I feel like this relationship is like, you know, going in different directions. So they came into to, to your life because they're trying to trap you into theirs. They're trying to get you on the same path. That's what I'm hearing. Um, in terms of influences, I'm picking up um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo and Cancer. It's come through so far. Could be a person or a season. Let's look into this Seven of Swords. So what is this Seven of Swords energy? The Seven of Wands. So the fact that we have a Seven doubled is very intense in regards to really reflecting and looking into this connection. Because if this is this dishonesty here, someone trying to get their own way with you, the Seven of Wands is kind of like this attack and this block that you may have created around you and this person to protect yourself from them coming in. So maybe it is to strengthen you, it's to make you stronger, it's to help you to build walls but also know when to take those walls down. So <clears throat> let's get you some more information. I've really missed doing these pick a card readings. So let me know if this is resonating for you. So group number one. Okay, group number one. I thought, as this is like shuffling, look what could come out, confinement and trap. How insane, we have the word trap and trap has come out again. <laughs> wow. Okay, so let's just clarify one more with this deck. Can we clarify why did they come into your life, group one? Why did they come into your life? Calm. Okay, so how interesting we have trap <laughs> and confinement and as you can see I just spoke about the bars of like you protecting yourself and this really does clarify the reason they're coming to your life is to trap you and keep you away from others. I just feel such an intense energy with this reading so this person may want you to be a victim this is about a law and trickery. So this is about someone who wants to keep you captive to maybe tolerate something because unfreedom is coming through. If someone wants to keep you, it's almost like keeping something you shouldn't. And we have calm, which is about inner peace, simplicity and meditation. And I think this is about keeping you still. This is the energy of not moving, right? So this person, such an interesting reading, I'm so intrigued by this, um, does want to keep you all to themselves. They don't want to share, okay? Um, and because I'm so into this reading, I'm going to clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. What's this Queen of Pentacles energy? judgment yeah so this is someone who is trying to control you to make judgments for you so that you don't have to and judgment is when someone really is observing and looking at you what is this nine of swords
the nine of cups so how interesting you've got like two sevens here you have two nines here again these could be repeated numbers you may see a lot so pay close attention to seven and the number nine okay we've got the death card showing up back so this is about endings i feel like some of you perhaps need to end a situation here because what i'm seeing is this person is manifesting you the reason they're coming into your life is because for them for their own selfish reasons they want the, what they want they want to take what they want and they don't care if it's going to like mentally affect you or keep you up so this person's really trying to get in your head um it's almost like we have got this crocodile which is kind of like a puppet on a string i feel like this person is pulling your strings And it's really just like be careful what you wish for. I think this person doesn't know what they're in for. I think that you are going to break free. The reason this person's coming to your life is so that you can break free. So you learn from this experience. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull you a guidance card. In regards to this person. And the situation so why they came into your life can we get you a guidance message group one <clears throat> we have the card of truth which is honor empress and integrity so this is telling you group one that which is true will always be enough so you need to know that the truth is enough if you've seen through this person, if you've looked into their eyes and you know who this person is, this is telling you to seek the truth, not the dishonesty. You know the truth. This person deep down knows the truth and the truth is, will always win. The truth will always come out and that is your rescue point. Okay, this is you being the empress. This is you honoring yourself, having the integrity to speak up to this person okay because again we've got this polarity of like the fact there are differences between you and this person that need to be worked out we have a 37 which is a completion number as well in numerology so there is an end in here okay so i love the fact it's ended on that card <clears throat> so this is what i have for you group number one on why did they come into your life and i just feel like there's such a big lesson to be learned here and to follow on through with so let me know in the comments what resonated for you i would love to know don't forget to comment and subscribe like the video and um until next time i'm sending you so much love and light hello group number two welcome to your reading so you chose the aquamarine so i'm just cleansing the area before we get started on your reading on why they came into your life. So I already have one channeled message for you. So let's see what it is. So we have the card of aim. So the card of aim indicates that someone was really aiming for you. The reason this person's coming to your life is because they took target. They saw you, and I think this person just knew exactly what they wanted. This is like, you know, a hit with no miss. I feel like this is someone who was reaching out to you for a reason. Because with AIM, this is about, again, someone reaching out, someone trying to make contact. Someone trying to get your attention, because that's what I'm seeing with AIM, is the reason this person has, like, come into your life is because they want to get you to notice them they may perhaps want to surprise you um we've got the number of foundation and stability coming through so i feel like this person wants to be noticed by you they want to aim for you so maybe they only have eyes for you but the reason that they came into your life is because they want to they've like chosen you basically to be in their life like i feel like it's a choice you know we can choose who we want in our life friends and family you know and I feel like that's kind of the energy that's coming forward with AIM so let's see 
what other messages I can bring forward for you group two. Why did they come into your life? Group number two. Why did they come into your life? Group two, why did they come into your life? Okay, we have the world, we have the two of pentacles. Group two, why did they come into your life? We have the four of wands. Oh, and we have the lovers. Beautiful. So there is a lot of love here. Okay, so the reason that this person has come into your life, okay, is because this person, again, they do desire you. They, they are, you know, they have a lot of love and passion for you. The world is a significant, like, card of, like, starting a new cycle i feel like this person was aiming to perhaps turn a new leaf to start a new chapter with you so this is someone who wants the future this is someone who's coming to your life because they want to move forward with you they want to travel with you okay they want to you know discover things with you so maybe this is about aiming at things together in life and aiming is about goals right it's about dreams ambitions maybe this is about you both reaching for the stars together i feel like this person's come into your life because we do have the number two which is about a relationship but they want they've come into your life to balance it they've come into your life to juggle your you and and them so this is a challenge i feel like when you're aiming for something it's always a challenge it's never easy because you could always miss the mark, miss the target. So this is kind of the message that you know, the reason that they've come into, you, into your life is to help you to balance those odds, to help you to realise what you want and what you don't want in your life, because you're making comparisons. Okay. We've also got this poster here, which says um, a cabinet of curiosity. So maybe they are, they've come into your life to bring that curiosity back in. We've got a lot of animal symbolism here. You can see we have a dog here. We have a dog here. And we have a rabbit and a deer. So it kind of is symbolic of strong loyalty. Because dogs symbolise loyalty. Okay. When it comes to why this person's into your life. Maybe it's to bring more loyalty in. Um, and... We also have the the rabbit, which can symbolise fertility, purity, and fastness. So, the fact we have the four of wands here, it does signify when it comes to why this person's come into your life, is because they want to celebrate with you. There's something that they want to do with you, and I think it's about joining together, joining forces, becoming one having celebrations so this could be a family member um a lover a friend but it seems very someone who wants to support you and reward you so i feel like they've come into your life to see the good times happen you know i feel like even through the bad but i feel like they want to be there for you to celebrate things with you celebrate the things you've aimed at and achieved because the lovers is such an intense and deep kind of message coming forward because it represents healing and harmony they've come into your life to heal you to bring love okay and that aim is is about that attention this is about being passionate this is about having good relationships and i feel like that's what you are both aiming for 
So let me clarify these cards. <clears throat> What's this world card energy? have the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles um, is Capricorn Taurus Virgo we've got Gemini energy popping up as well could be people or seasons again we've got that kind of white flower with the white rabbit of purity so I feel like this this is someone who wants to kind of has come into your life to make you learn now you may have a past history with this person but it really is someone who wants to be there through thick and thin and watch you grow they want to see you transform into this whole new world and chapter that you can be in what's this two of pentacles energy the empress so the empress is connected to strong taurus energy and the planet of venus which is love so i'm here in this is a feminine energy this could be a mum it could be a daughter a sister it's very loving caring energy coming forward and this is really to kind of mark that growth and communication of the reason why this person has come in because i feel like they've created you or they've created something with you like you've built memories with this person like i feel like there's things behind you both that you carry together and that's your bond this is why we have the lovers the aim is the fact that you were aiming together yeah that's that's what i'm seeing what's this four of wands energy i think it's the balance i think it's the balance that that kind of birth, that kind of um, creation that's happened in, in your connection. So we do have the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And it symbolizes, you know, understanding. We have a cat here as well. We have a cat. So this, this person could be connected to animals. <laughs> Maybe they love animals. I don't know. But, um, it's about having loyalty and independence at the same time and this person has come in your life to teach you that for you to aim for both for like having multiple things in your life so this queen of wands you know she gets exactly what she wants right she knows where she's heading and i feel like this person has come into your life to celebrate with you to celebrate your creativity so what is the lover's energy so we have the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is about, you know, moving forward, manifestation. And as you can see, we've got wolves here as well. So this person, I feel strongly more connected to like dogs and wolves in the reading. But so perhaps that could be their spirit animal. But this is about, you know, moving on. So the fact we have the lovers here, and this has clarified this, means the reason this person's come into your life is because they want to move to the future with you they want to see you love they want to see you be in love they want to see you have love in your life and it's about the you know ridding the past and the reason they've come into your life is to guide you into the light to to help you see why they've come into your life and why, where are they taking you forward to <clears throat> it's to show you what you're aiming for and what you shouldn't be aiming for so let's see further messages for you group two on why this person came into your life group two why did this person come into your life how did they come into your life? Okay, so we have the card of Princess 
and celebrate. So again, it's exactly the message I channeled for you, that they want to celebrate with you. They want to be there for the good. They want to cheer you on. They want to applaud you. They want to be your biggest, you know, cheerleader and someone who celebrates and cheers you on. Now, this person's come into your life to bring change and to communicate how others can't communicate with you. So that you may have a special relationship with this person. And Princess, you know, is very feminine and it's very connected to that Empress energy because they're both number threes. And as you can see, she's kind of talking to this bird. And I feel like this person has come into your life to raise your vibration. And to kind of bring a lot of beauty into it as well. Okay. Princess is, is also about having values, respect, that loyalty and trust. So let's see what else we can bring forward. <clears throat> For group two, why did they come into your life? Why did they come into your life? Okay, so we have the cards of origin and saving. So as you can see, this is the energy of growth, initiation, creativity and vitality as the reasons that this person's come into your life, as well as, you know, you have a connection towards saving. So something to do with money as well is coming forward. Um, maybe they're trying to guide you and help you grow money or save money. Because we have um, preservation, collection, and meanness, which means maybe it's to aim to create something together. Maybe some of you I'm hearing may even be doing a business or have a legacy with this person. Okay. Um, we also have the card of daydream. So daydream is significant to reflecting on dreams, aiming for, you know, things that you want to happen. So the reason they've come into your life is to bring optimism, you know, to steer you away from illusions or delirious goals. So they're trying to get you to be realistic with your aims. So let's get you a guidance message on why this person's come into your life. A guidance message for group number two. For group two, guidance message for why this person's come into your life. So we have the Forbidden Forest which is bravery, persistence, and redemption. So this is why they've come into your life, to teach you bravery. And the Forbidden Forest is things that we can't aim for. It's things that are untouchable, that, you know, are protected species or, or, or creations that we shouldn't go near. So you are so brave to keep on going the way you do. And I feel like this person wants you to aim for the most realistic dreams, to be brave, persistent, and to touch and aim for that, that star, okay? So, this is what I have for you, group number um, two. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what resonated. I'd love to know. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'm sending you so much love and light. Hello group number three, welcome to your reading. So I'm just cleansing the area with some sound before we start the reading. So you chose the specular hematite crystal. 
and I already have a channeled message already prepared for you in regards to why they came into your life. So let's take a look into it. So the card we have is Traveller. Okay, so Traveller symbolises the fact this person's coming into your life to move it. Because travel is about pushing things, going with the current of where the river is flowing towards. We have the number eight, which is all about taking action, manifestation, moving forward. So I feel like this person's coming to your life to make waves, to change the direction or the course of your connection or your life. We have all these boats as well, which could symbol, you know, shelter, being rescued, being guided. But overall, with Traveller is the energy of, you know, not staying in one place. A traveller kind of moves and they move and they kind of continue. So I feel maybe this person's coming to your life to change the chapters, to evolve into being in different locations in your life, different places. Um, and maybe this is someone who, you know, is coming to your life because they want to share these experiences with you. They want to travel with you. So let's get further information for you, group three. <clears throat> So why did they come into your life? Group three. Why did they come into your life? Group three. Why did they come into your life? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups. Group three, why did they come into your life? <clears throat> we have the Two of Wands and the Hierophant. Okay, so we've got, <clears throat> we've got Strong Taurus coming through. Um... Interestingly enough, we have two number eights here, and this is very significant to that traveling energy of the fact that this person has come into your life to change the course of where it's heading. So I feel like this person has changed your life, okay? I think where you was traveling to before has changed. I think this person's come into your life to awaken you, to bring to bring you out of your shell. Okay, so the Nine of Swords is very much about dreams, nightmares, and also, you know, uh, fear and anxiety. So maybe this is kind of someone trying to kind of get you out of your mental head, your mental state, to help you to move forward. Because we've got the walls, which is being part of a pack, being part of a community, being part of like a traveler. Um, because again, these don't stay in one place, they move on, right? Um, so what I'm seeing here with the Two of Wands and the Hierophant symbolises someone who has come into your life to have a future with you, to make plans with you and watch them come into fruition. Because the Hierophant is about commitments. This is about values, traditions. So I feel like this person who's come into your life wants to commit but they also want to like be a guide, a guru, or a teacher for you to help you travel along your journey, to help you find your destination. You know, we've got the numbers of balance and change and reaching goals. So it really does come through as They've come into your life to change possibly how you think about certain situations because Hierophant is again, as I say, about it could be about spiritual beliefs, um, you know, how you feel about commitments. But it's to teach you, it's to guide you and to travel with you and behind you as a guide. Because as you can see, we've got this spirit behind this person and it's kind of like they're watching over them. So this is quite a protective energy of someone who just wants to 
be in your life for a reason because they've come into it to kind of push you into where you're meant to be so let's clarify the energy what's this nine of swords we have the two of swords so we have another number two come out so you may connect with the numbers two and eight but this is really strong in you know making decisions so this person has come into your life to take that blindfold off to make you see something and feel it so this is really about not being afraid because if she's afraid she's not going to look right she's going to keep that blindfold on so I feel like someone is trying to get you to travel where you're not afraid of the lightning anymore. You're not afraid of the dark. You can make decisions based on your intuition and your heart. Because this is about being on two paths. The two sources sometimes when we're conflicted on which way we're going to go. Do we go left? Do we go right? Do we go north? Do we go south? And it's kind of that energy of traveling again is you may feel like you're choosing the wrong path in life. So they've come into your life possibly to help you with your life path, your destiny, where you're meant to be heading. So what is this eight of cups? <clears throat> we have the ace of swords. So the ace of swords is a new beginning. This person's come into your life to show you that you can grab that sword and you can guide the way. Even though they're watching you and guiding with you, it's kind of like they've come into your life to show you where you can travel to because you have the right thought process. Your thoughts are all there. But they've come into your life to change or push those thoughts into existence. So what's this two of wands energy? Judgment. So judgment, again, is about like this rebirth, this renewal energy. And I feel like, again, you've got this person kind of behind this person. So this is, again, we've got this light energy coming through, which is letting you know that there is a way out. This person's coming to your life to show that you're not stuck, that you're going to have some awakening, some realization about your future. And I feel like this person has pushed it. This person's pushed this energy and they're coming to your life to kind of open it up and show you those wings. So what is this Hierophant energy? We have the card of the Page of Pentacles. So we've got again a strong Taurus energy over here. Capricorn Virgo. Um, we've also got the Page of Swords showing up at the back as an overall energy guide, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Again, these could be dominant people or seasons. But it's showing up as, you know, the learning curve. Growing up. I feel like, the, I feel like this energy of this person's coming to your life to grow you. To, to, like, push you in a direction where you are growing and you're learning things. Um... Also, we've got the, the energy of like education, work, finances. So they could have come into your life to kind of guide you in, in, in the right direction there. But I feel like they, they've come into your life to, 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 not, to not let you get lost. To not let you get lost in your journey. So why has this person come into your life? Why have they come into your life? Okay, so we have the card of artisan as well as soulmates. Wow. So this is really connected to the fact that they've come into your life to change and bring forward a connection. Because artisan is about creating things. So that's that teaching energy that, you know, came through. And it's kind of to kind of create something. So artisan is about, you know, creating memories, creating pictures and... The fact we have soulmates here is really connected to the fact that this person's coming to your life to be with you. And as I said, there is a guide here. 
some of you it could be a spirit guide it could be a lover a, a member a family member but it's someone close by who is this soulmate who is basically going to see things through to the end with you so they're watching you okay they're by your side they're guiding you it's such a beautiful message and they're coming to your life to be that soulmate that soul connection So for group three, why did they come into your life? Okay, so we do have the card of Fury and Nightmare. So Nightmare we already channeled with the nine of swords which makes me feel like they are trying to get you out of that closet out of the dark okay so we've got um offense madness and unpleasantness is the fact that they want you to channel your energy to travel it in a new direction because if you've been suffering or feeling like persecution it's like having a moment of explosion and traveling and moving that energy. So I feel like this person wants to help you with your emotions. Okay, we also have the card of ominousness. So this is about someone who may be a bit of a mystery. Maybe, you know, you're still discovering about why this person's coming to your life. So it's to protect you from being cautious. It's to send you signs. Okay, and we've got this family picture here. So I do feel like it's a family member or it's a soulmate or a love connection. Um, I feel like they want you to break, break away from being stuck and trapped and wanting you to kind of branch out and travel. Okay. So let's get you a guidance message. <clears throat> For group three on why they came into your life a guidance message for group three why they came into your life oh we have the Sun what a beautiful card to end on so the Sun is about manifestation power and this is why they've come into your life is to basically you know be the energy source you need to travel to be patient because it will come so i think you need to be persistent in your life or with this person because we've got that number 11 which is again a relationship number um they've come into your life to bring the light into your life to get rid of your fear to help you to travel and to bring some sunlight and happiness and joy into your life okay so beautiful message um this is what i have for you group three thank you so much for listening and watching i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below what resonated i would love to know don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and i'm sending you all so much love and light